run into this 400 bad request error. Don't worry, this is one of the easiest errors to fix. So without further ado, welcome to our channel, hit the subscribe button and let's get on with it. Chapter 1. What is the 400 bad request error? This error is vague and could occur for a number of different reasons, like malformed URL syntax, corrupted browser cookies or cache, bad DNS cache, or it could just be a corrupted website. The fixes for it are, however, quite simple. Chapter 2. Three easy fixes. Fix 1. Check the site URL. Yes, it sounds silly, but it is just that maybe the URL itself is broken. Use this link validator to confirm it. If it is, rest assured it is not on your end. If it isn't, then follow along the next few steps. Fix 2. Clear your cookies and site data. This will fix the error for sure. Simply open the browser and clear cookies and site data. Here's how you do it on Chrome. Step 1. Click on the three dots on the top right in the dialog box, then select Settings. Step 2. Select Privacy and Security and click on Cookies and Other Site Data. Step 3. Scroll and select See All Cookies and Site Data. Here you will see all the sites that you're storing cookies for. Step 4. Select the site that's showing the 404 error and click on the trash icon. Step 5. Reload your site and it should work. Fix 3. Clear DNS cache. Similar to your browser cache, the DNS cache needs a spring cleaning now and then, in case the IP addresses it has stored are outdated. First, I will show you how to do so on Windows and then on Mac. Number 1. How to clear DNS cache on Windows. Step 1. Go to Command Prompt and click on Run as Administrator. Step 2. Enter this command. Step 3. Once you get this screen, enter the following command one by one. So what you're doing here essentially is troubleshooting and updating your IP address in your DNS cache. Step 4. Restart your PC and check if the error is still there. 2. How to clear DNS cache on Mac. Step 1. Open the terminal application via the Spotlight search. Step 2. Enter this command. Step 3. Restart your device and see if that works. There, that should hopefully fix your error. Here are two more videos that can be very helpful for you. If you're stuck anywhere, comment down below and I'll help you out. Hit the like button if you liked this video and smash that subscribe button if I was able to help you. It really makes our team happy. That's it for this video. I'm Vishali signing off and see you next week.